Alright, and what is up you guys? This is Veffy, and as you can see, I've got a mic now. Uh, so you can expect consistent videos from me, as usual. Um, I want to thank Titus, by the way, for hooking me up with this mic. He went to go get a new one and gave me his old one, so I appreciate that. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a follow-up to the Gears of War 3 strafe video. This one's more about evasion and doing tricky stuff to catch people off guard. Uh, so before I get started, I also want to thank Frex for helping me do the whole thing. Alright, so here we go. For the first one, we've got faking that you're still running behind corners. Now this is an excellent way to juke people out and to completely catch them off guard. The way you're going to do this is that you're going to fake that you're roadie running around a corner and actually get behind it and hard aim and wait for them. So this is what it's going to look like. You're running from your enemy, you fake roadie run around the corner, but in reality you've turned around and you're ready to take him out. And it blindsides them, they're not ready for it, it's that kind of thing. Uh, so basically what you need to make sure you do is that you have to actually seem like you're running away. So put ev all your effort into appearing that you're actually trying to run away when you're not and this is what it should turn out to look like so if this is me watching it from his side of the screen bam I get bodied like I am just roadie running straight thinking this guy is dipped he's long gone and I got taken out Alright, and for the second one, we've got faking the direction that you're looking in. This is basically the way you're going to park yourself in a position, and you're going to fake that you're looking a direction, so that the enemy thinks he has time to walk up behind you and body you. A lot of people fall for this a lot, and this has been going on since Gal 1. You get on the cover, you fake like you're crossing down there like this, and you see the guy coming up. You sit there, turn around, and body him. The thing that people s tend to do a lot is when they notice that someone is uh, vulnerable, they'd rather not startle him by shooting him in the back. They try to close in for the kill. And when they do that, you make them completely pay for it. And it's, it's one of my favorite things to do. And this is what it would look like from the enemy's point of view, once again. Uh, you'd be pushing up, you'd see the guy there, you close in for the body, and he just turns around and it just blindsides you. You don't expect the guy to actually have been watching you because he's not facing that direction. Alright, and for the third thing, we have finding hidden spots to mantle kick. This is a great way to catch people off guard. And now what I mean by this is finding spots that look impossible to mantle kick, whether it's through walls and things like that, to actually do that. And this is very possible. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So for instance, I'm right here, I'm getting lancered at. I pull forward and I mantle kick him through this, basically the counter to body him. Uh, finding spots to do like that can get you out of any type of four-pointed situation. You can also do this downstairs at Mulcher. As you can see right here, I'm going to show you guys. You can completely jump the counter to mantle kick right through the countertop and body the person. And this is such a great way to take out people and dispose of people, uh, which brings me to my fourth uh, evasion, and that's baiting them into mantle kicks. Uh, this basically works kind of how it's described. Knowing that you can mantle kick uh, isn't always the best way to do it. You know, you can get people to follow you into a cover that looks obnoxiously un, you know, mana kickable and then doing it. Uh, this is an example. So uh, someone's chasing me right now, right? I run over here, I hit this wall, and then right when he gets on there, bam, I've hit him with a mantle kick. And now this works, like I said, this is dry dock, by the way, um, and this works on the other side just as well. And it's an obnoxious little box that it just doesn't look like you can mantle kick over it, but you can. Now there are many spots like these um, on each of the maps, and I, to cover them all would be a little bit impossible, um, but I just wanted you guys to get the gist of it. You know, search for spots like that, and this goes for anything in general. You can bait people into mantle kicks like that. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this basically is a follow-up once again to the Gears of War 3 strafe tutorial. I will be doing another video like this uh, regarding more different ways to evade and strafe and do both. Uh, make sure to leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this and a comment if it helped you. It's always appreciated. Uh, and otherwise, that uh, you guys have a wonderful day.